really participate in a day of cycling and to work with Mayor, Mayor Moss who um, like me is from Windsor and uh, I'd visited the island previously when I was PA to the Natural Resources and Forestry and we're looking at working with him on some projects so he got to spend the day with me talking about his beautiful happy place and I got to listen to some of the things that we're going to work on together in the future which is pretty exciting. Yeah were you surprised to see 150 people and uh, you know you're saying we're pulling from all over the world yes. for this, this tour? Yeah. Yes and no I mean I guess because I come from a vantage point where I understand the cycling world very well and I know too that cycling tourism as I mentioned is a very fast growing phenomenon in our province. In 2009 when I was at Share the Road I uh, started an initiative which is bearing fruit next spring where we're going to launch a 340 kilometer cycling tourism route between Sudbury and Sault Ste. Marie. That is now continuing on to North Bay through to Mattawa with a route system, a Voyager cycling route planned for the um, Ottawa River and down to the Ottawa Valley. This route this year will be extended and it will be 1800 kilometers of fully signed, fully routed, destination driven cycling. And what's great about cycling tourism too is it really does leverage the economy well because when you arrive in a place on your bicycle, uh, at least for me, I'm of a certain age now so I don't camp much anymore. So at the end of a long day in the saddle, I want a hot shower, a nice place to stay and rest my head, a good meal the next morning and maybe a nice meal and a glass of wine. So I've now spent $250 to $300, maybe $500 depending on where I am. And those are tourism numbers that communities are dying to have. When I was at the Share the Road Cycling Coalition, we uh, met with the uh, proponents of the bridge and I'm absolutely fully in support. Uh, I know, uh, I believe it's MP Moss, is it, uh, in um, Windsor. Uh, I spoke to him about this recently and I told him that we're on board to do anything we can to help that endeavor. I believe uh, our predecessor minister in transportation, Glenn Murray, was fully supportive. Um, you know, bridges across the world uh, have accommodated cyclists. If you go throughout Europe, bridges large and small. If you look at the, um, the bridge in San Francisco, um, Golden Gate accommodates cyclists, uh, and that's a fairly major bridge, and people commute and use that bridge every single day. So I don't see why not, why we couldn't think about having cycling there. You know, we put men on the moon and brought them back, so I use that analogy often to talk about, yes, there are things that are difficult, but sometimes things that are worth doing are challenging, and I think we're smart people and we can sit down and figure that out.